Hi there guys, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh, 2 a.m. here in Dhaka. I'll be doing a couple of videos for you, one list and one individual review where I'm going to do two fragrances in one video. So that's going to be Indian brand. Watch out for that. I never reviewed anything from this house before. Hopefully, mic is on. Let's start the video. So uh, first episode, I want to do affordable fragrance. Um, this affordable list, it's not particularly summer or winter list. It's not really in that like particular price range, like $20 each. No. But these are more or less affordable. Okay, these are uh, you can say under hmm, 35, 40, maximum $40 you have to pay if you have to pay a uh, discounted price. Okay, so keep in mind. And then if you can get like a smaller bottle of these, some of them they have a, a smaller bottle size, then you can get uh, like even cheaper price. But anyway, these are good quality fragrances. These are not like the overall the best top 13, no such thing just 13 or rather 14 good fragrances in the budget so one by one i'll go and i reviewed all of them check them out first fragrance i'm going to go with antonio banderas and this is one of his seduction line he has quite a few from this line black seduction seduction sorry seduction in black seduction in blue power of seduction few more i reviewed quite a few including this so this one came out like i think not very uh, long ago and it's a really nice looking bottle and from the bottle you can see uh, blue seduction wave this is basically a tropical fresh you know uh, blue fragrance with a fruity touch to it really good atomizer when i smell this the opening is beautiful i think there's this sort of like a watermelon uh, kind of like this fruity vibe going on very very electrifying high heat it works longevity is moderate this is are not very expensive but also antonio banderas doesn't really push that much but if you get a 200 ml of these kind of fragrances they are the best deal so first one is uh, blue seduction wave i really like this fragrance uh, if longevity was better it would be higher up in the order all these fragrances are good by the way so that was number 13 number 12 i'm going to go with the fragrance i have it in my collection for some time it was given to me by one of my brothers here and i did not reach for it that much because this is basically a colder weather fragrance but this is also a clone of very uh, popular fragrance called black afghano by nasemato there are a lot of uh, clones of that fragrance mansara hindu kush or you can say Gucci, Intense Oud. I have those both. But this one is on more budget side, okay? If you have this fragrance, I don't think it's going to cost you so much. This is from Paris Corner. And this is the fragrance. Look at the juice color. It's uh, very much... I remember one fragrance that there was from one of these niche houses. They had, I think, maybe Alexandria fragrances. Uh, was it Anubis? Yeah, also was Black Afghano clone. This is called Intense Oud. And uh, this is Arabian Oryx uh, line or something. Look at the bottle i mean forget about this is a clone house budget house take a look at the juice color it's dark this is how this smells smoky dark woody a little bit gothic a little bit uh, this kind of color like if you know uncle noir that's sort of vibe but it's very very nice wearable fragrance and longevity is very decent i just absolutely love the presentation the whole package is great so this is called intense wood by paris corner check it out clone of black afghano on a budget so that's number 12. Number 11, I'm going to go with this fragrance. Okay, this is a clone of Bleu de Chanel, one of the many Bleu de Chanel clones that I reviewed on my channel. I did at least under 10, I think, I think almost 10 fragrances from Bleu de Chanel type. But this was one of my first, you know, like few years back I did and I just uh, loved it so much. And there are better fragrances than this, but the price is going to be a bit higher, right? So this is from the budget, like under $25 still, I think. This is called Shades Blue by Armoff. So there are a few shades, shades black and this one. And I think uh, there was this shades Oud, okay, or Oud, okay. That one was super strong. This is very, very beautiful. This is uh, kind of like a bright, strong opening, a little bit synthetic in the opening, but the dry down is really beautiful. When I smell it, it's very fresh and clean and the atomizers have changed, very good atomizers. This gives you vibes of Bleu de Chanel, but it's its own citruses like Armoff does more fresh more lemon instead of uh, grapefruit from blood Chanel, you get kind of like a lemon blue mix and a little bit peppery as well very bright uh, piercing fragrance good uh, projection from this shades blue by armoff that's like number 11. number 10 here is one of my most favorite fragrances in recent times very much on budget i cannot tell you how impressed i am with this line i bought both i bought the black one and the blue one today i'm showing you the black one next episode i'll make sure the blue one this is called Royce Black from Lata Fighting. This is the line, and I don't know the whole line called Varf Perfumes or something. But uh, man, bottles get dirty very, very quickly, and even it's picking up scratch because it's with many other bottles. This fragrance, check out my review. 
this one i gave it very high mark this is very very close to uh, 1 million preve like by pakuraban which is discontinued when i smell this opening it has a little bit of kick but the dry down hits the this very same pakuraban 1 million um, that preve fragrance okay this is a bit more uh, like a stronger with you mixed with that sort of vibe but it's more youthful and it's not as serious in the opening i prefer the opening of 1 million lucky sorry 1 million preve but this one for the price you cannot deny it very very affordable check it out this is called royce black by latafa i think that's the house and they have a lot of sub brands but if i'm wrong i'll write it down that's number 10. number nine i'm gonna go with this fragrance i just uh, picked it up from my box deep down in the ocean something like it after a long time and some of the fragrances you know sometimes you get uh, lost you know like some of the fragrances you don't even remember you have and when you find it oh i thought i did not have that anymore just now i'm wearing um think dior higher energy i thought i didn't have that fragrance anymore but i did so i'm wearing that beautiful fragrance but this another one called bogart city tower so some of you when you see this you will not be able to uh, recognize it because the juice color has gone brown okay initially when you see this photo in fragrant or anywhere in google or any other review they have a juice color of lavender or blue in there so it's okay it's legit over the years the juice color changes and becomes like this same case with uh, lamal uh, parfum de essence okay essence de parfum that one has the same juice color dark and became significantly strong what this fragrance in short is if you like midnight in paris it has vibes of it like uh, ben cliff and arpos but mostly what i get bulgari is black that is another discontinued fragrance which i really like uh, but kind of like the tacky bottle the rubber and all uh, the bottle goes ugly over the years this one is on budget way cheaper than both those fragrances check it out i have review on it and it has a little bit different of its own character city tower by bogart amazing fragrance okay hidden gem the next one i think 1098 is this perfume i bought uh, just a few months back couple of months back from house of uh, victorinox okay this is called wood okay i think so the whole name is wood so there was no uh, tester on this perfume look at that bottle it's beautiful i love the red at the base and i saw this fragrance they were not opening it in uh, like the retail outlet sandra and they did not have a tester they said we're so sorry sir we don't even know how this smells so i'm like you know what i'll buy it so another brother came up and he said i'll buy it for you okay he opened it i liked it he took one bottle i took another bottle because i wanted to own it not just review that good hidden gem really long lasting this fragrance from Victorinox, more of more or less people would just dismiss it in, like instantly like you know how much you can get from a fragrance if you smell this fragrance this one can compete with fragrance brands like jean paul gautier or fragrance like dolce and gabbana that level check out my review on this kind of like a woody spicy masculine fragrance with a twist and a very beautiful unique fragrance one of the most unique designer fragrance in my collection Victorinox wood and very very affordable <clears throat> in the process um <laughs> i can taste the fragrances you know sorry about that uh, uh this is no there's no pun intended next fragrance i bought i think last eid about a month back or so and i loved it so much <sighs> give me a second i need to clear that out oh man that was tough you know like sometimes some fragrances just go through your system and then you just immediately can taste it not a very pleasant <laughs> uh, experience any fragrance that is i'm not talking about particularly that one anyway next fragrance i i was talking about coming back to the video i got this because there was not really that many reviews on this one okay and then fragrant doesn't also have this one called jaguar excellence intense fragrance okay so this is the edp i think edp intense and look at that juice color if you are familiar with uh, bentley for man intense or strong fragrances boozy fragrances amber based fragrances this is that juice color so what i got from this fragrance is kind of like boozy it has that violet leaves i think and this one has not much sweetness but this is more intense version of the original original one did not last uh, uh, for my liking this one is better so this is a great fragrance for fall okay check it out these are kind of fragrances people don't talk about because perhaps they don't get it for free okay some reviewers do buy their fragrances so they can tell you like hey i bought it i experienced it i you know i can tell you that this fragrance is good right i'm not going against reviewers but sometimes you know uh, you don't see certain brands you know in certain reviewers channel which is kind of sad you know because you know when you're doing this do it for the love man <laughs> you know so jaguar excellence uh, this intense edp beautiful uh, fall and winter fragrance good longevity on that <clears throat> so next ones are pure love as well 
next one it's a house i absolutely love this is my most favorite budget house right now called latafa this next fragrance is called latafa hayati gold elixir okay i reviewed it a few days back man this is beautiful just now I was talking about which one roy's black being a clone of one million uh preve this is very close to one million elixir the name is even similar if you spray this this is beautiful it has its own thing it's sweet it's fruity and it's musky and not that kind of musk that disturbs you it's kind of like a beautiful like this juice color it's like a jammy sweet kind of fragrance it's really nice really nice really strong longevity okay latafa i hope they don't increase their prices okay yes sweet sweet fruity nutty kind of like that uh unisex vibe but if you like stronger with you one million elixir this kind of fragrances you'll like this okay beautiful perfume some people compare it to armani called profumo also has a vibe of that vanilla check it out this is called hayati gold elixir by latafa next one i got blind buy and i absolutely love the bottle i ordered one more from this house and uh mason alhambra is sub brand of latafa i told you i love latafa next one is this one tabak okay so this one from the bottle you can see i don't know if it's discontinued already because this line of tom ford is gone okay there are some issues anyway so latafa this juice color man i am in love with this kind of juice colors beautiful solid bottle and it does look like dior's previous line right so this is like tuba color clone i did review another clone from tuba color sort of fragrances i never really reviewed the original but i can tell you this one smells sweet it smells like tobacco sweetness tonka bean fake delicious use that sort of vibe and it's just beautiful you have to trust me on this fragrance this is so crazy cheap that it's unbelievable the quality of this perfume is unbelievable tabak by mason alhambra latafa okay next one is gonna be number what's the number <laughs> number four number four is gonna be this fragrance i'm bringing back for a long time and nobody talks about it anymore if you do love house of lacoste this is a designer perfume it's called lacoste l'homme intense a little bit change of pace i do love the original lacoste l'homme which is somewhere there at the back i like that that one is beautiful beautiful juice color bottle is even prettier this one is a little bit more performance version of that fragrance okay this one can be worn in mid uh, like fall that kind of time with the beautiful rhubarb note it's fruity it's a uh, it's kind of sweet but not very sweet the most important thing is its uniqueness beautiful unique perfume on the best lacoste ever made just flew under the radar you know like ck all this kind of fragrance flew under the radar highly recommended by me lacoste long in tons so top three number three is this fragrance from same house that makes arma off okay darling perfumes okay and this is from the house of just jack their line it's called tobacco leaf okay i have very similar fragrance in this line called tobacco touch i think that is also clone of tobacco veni i did review few more so far for the price versus quality this is the best one ever uh, you don't have to pay so much i've seen people selling this for 35 dollars it's not that expensive i think 20 25 bucks and this is the old version i think with the gold cap uh, the new caps perhaps are black it's okay all same very very impressive performance and i'm wearing this on my hand right hand for some time just because i enjoy that beautiful you know like a smoky tobacco vanilla you know that sort of vibe and kind of like a honeyed sort of vibe this one gives me that just jack and this is tobacco touch absolutely lovely very close to my heart okay if you like tobacco vini try this so next one is gonna be a joint entry same fragrance clone both fragrances are very good for the budget i prefer one over the other these are clones of herod i think no sorry latent and first fragrance is gonna be al haramein detour noir um, this used to be some people are selling for darn cheap you know like 15 dollars or so did not get it at that time i got it even 13 dollars uh, partial deal almost full bottle i didn't do it i got it when it was around 30 dollars okay so it's okay money well well spent i just absolutely hate the bottle cheap feeling but smells so nice for the price one of the best clones of latent from perfume de marley and if you like that you're gonna love this even more i just got a backup bottle of loy lager this one's things to love about it is magnetic cap even though the bottle size is i think 80 ml or 90 it's 80 ml sorry i see better without my specs so this one has better performance more quality this fragrance is just more quality i have to finish my previous bottle then i'll open this but loyal agar and uh, this one detour noir equally good for their price bracket bit more expensive better quality better longevity but for the price you cannot go wrong with 
Etonoir. These are joint entry number two. So I'll go my number one. This is, I think, perhaps the most uh, expensive you can see in this list because it's in that $35, $40 range. Now it's like $40, $45 perhaps, but you can try to get it for $40. It'd be good. This is from House of Halloween. This is Halloween Man uh, shot. Okay. I do have Halloween Man X. People talk about that. They know about it. There's a coffee stand. That's a sweet stand. Nobody talks about this. This is cardamom sexiness. Yeah, you can call it sort of like Lanvi Delon vibe, but it has its own sweetness, more party vibes, younger feel. Just love it. This fragrance is so good at nighttime on the best, not just budget, on the best night outing fragrance. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. So this one, it's similar to, you can say, uh, Halloween Man X a little bit, but it's also vibes of Lanvi Delon. Okay. So try it out. Uh, I think it's. Uh, maybe daikiri i don't know what note it was in there but it's kind of like a party clubbing kind of fragrance okay halloween man shot is my number one today so do check these out if you haven't and do let me know which ones do you like and which ones uh do you suggest to me i haven't tried have a nice day thanks for watching take care Bye bye